let's take a look at everything I used to complete this project. Most importantly, for the flares, you're going to need some ABS plastic. This is a two foot by four foot sheet that I ordered off Amazon and was. Um, I used a four and a half inch angle grinder to um, cut everything, utility blade to clean up the edges. I used this basically in the hard to reach or hard to cut uh, areas that was a little bit too tight for the angle grinder. You could use a coping saw, a Dremel, anything like that. Um, a couple of drill bits and a drill for the rivets that I used. Um, rivet gun and rivets. I used these push button uh, body fasteners. Um, these I used to actually fasten the flares in a few spots. And I also used some self-tapping screws. You could use all of these if you wanted, or you could use all of these. I just used a mix. Um, heat gun to bend the ABS plastic. A couple clamps just to hold stuff in place when you're making templates or cutting holes. Another clamp to hold uh, some angle on that I use for a bracket. Um, and keep the box that the ABS plastic comes in because that's what you're gonna cut your template out of just using a pair of scissors. I did also use this um, aluminum angle. All right, I ordered this uh, sheet of ABS plastic off Amazon. There's a two foot by four foot sheet, I believe. And it was, I don't know, like 25 bucks maybe. Um, anyway, I've got templates that I made over here. Um, this is just cardboard. And uh, I pretty much just kind of cut a six or eight inch wide long piece here. Started trimming stuff out, kind of where I wanted everything to go. And you can see it's about what it looked like. Um, just notched it for the different spots of the cage. When you take this back over, make sure um, you flip it the right direction for the opposite side because you want, it's got a textured surface on one, one side here um, and you want that to look the same on both sides. So just be mindful of that. And then I'm just using a cutoff wheel um, and a heat gun to do my bending. Pretty darn good. Um, once I get my mounting brackets up here, that'll suck everything right up close to the body. 
Um, in the back, it's gonna get a little tricky because I've got the dump bed, of course. So it cannot be one continuous flare like I did on the front. It's gonna have to come up to here. Then I'm gonna have to have one that comes over here. And then I gotta figure out something to fill the, the void there so you don't have mud and stuff flying up through there. But um, we'll figure that out and I'll bring you back. Pretty good day to be in the shop, I'd say. That looks good. My side panel will go back on and sandwich that in between the roll cage. And then I'll probably put one bolt through down here. Oh, before, like on the front one, before I bent that, I took that and I made my second tracing, um, traced out the second flap, the other side, with that piece of ABS plastic rather than your cardboard because I you know you might have cut it a little different and actually I modified mine slightly um, once I got it on the plastic so it wasn't the same as my cardboard cutout but use this before you do any bends and then you've got two identical um, flares all right I think I got that figured out um, got this piece bent follow contour of the bud there and then I put some uh, sheet metal screws up in there to hold that on. That closes down. And you gotta, I had to notch this a little bit more than I would have liked, but I think I'm gonna put a piece of like rubber roofing or something there just to cover that gap up a little bit. But you had to, I cut it maybe just a little big, but you had to clear this uh, the cage right here. And then that closes down onto the forward flare here. There you go. For a homemade two-piece flare, I'm really happy with how that turned out. I might get the heat gun out and close this gap up just a little bit. Just because that's kind of bugging me. Bring that back up. But. All right, I put, uh, I stuck this up there, lined it up with my line that I traced along the contour to this body panel here. 
and then I've lined up my two marks that I put between the um, fender flare and the body panel itself. I put two clamps, one up here, one there, and then I drilled one, two, three holes. All I did was just use these little push pin um, body um, fasteners. And these are really handy to have. I think I paid like five bucks for the whole kit there. Um, either at Harbor Freight or on Amazon, but they're handy to have because it seems like whether you're taking your bike apart or building something like this, those things always break. So that's all set, ready to go back on there. Now we just gotta figure out fastening up here. I got this um, aluminum angle from Lowe's and I think what I'm going to do is just put it up there like that and then uh, I'm going to put a couple rivets in here, I'm going to do another piece down here, put a couple rivets in it and then I'll be able to come up through with whatever I want to fasten it with, bolts or um, I might just do rivets again on the underside. But, uh, I think that'll work good. So I'm going to clamp that there and then pop some rivets in it. Got three push buttons in there. I think that'll be plenty. There's the finished front flare. Looks awesome. Well, there it is. I think it turned out really, really good for not having any idea at first how I was going to do it to the finished project here. Um, just really nice clean look the rivets I like that I thought about bolting that um, angle in there but I'm glad I went with the rivets so I bought a rivet gun I actually very rarely use rivets I don't think I've ever used a rivet gun to be honest so good excuse to buy one um, and then back here I like how this is obviously had to be dump bed compatible so um, just mounted this one back here with one of those body plastic body buttons I guess I'll call it for lack of a better word and then it uh, obviously you saw how I mounted that in there so that's not going anywhere oh um, sheet metal screws but if I wanted to I could use the body buttons here too all I would do is probably back 
one screw out at a time, drill the hole a little bit bigger, and pop those buttons in. But we'll see how these work. Um, if I rip them off or something, the nice thing is that the, the hole will actually have to get bigger for me to use those body buttons. So no problems there if I wanted to replace. But that should keep the mud out of our uh, face and off the windscreen. So it was definitely needed with those wider, with the wider stance. I think I'm at 64 now, so. Got the high left jack slash manual winch mounted up. I don't know if I showed you guys that last time or not. So that's looking good. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.